Because I was on a call with Tom not too long ago, a few weeks ago, and I find myself often losing words when I do it, not needing words, becoming very present in the, the walk with my pencil or my pen across the page, making shapes. But this time, it, I feel like I'm surrendering to it a little bit more. Mm. And that's something that I'm noticing in my life in general, just letting go, not surrendering like there's something to put down, but just letting go of the tension of control that I didn't know I had. I didn't know I was doing that. I think it was so normal for my life. Like what I noticed today as I was on the train on my way to a dance class and back is that I notice a habit of, oh, I, I have to know the next stop. I need to know the next stop. I have to think about it. And I was like, no, I don't actually. Sort of a, a metaphor that came up in a client conversation was the, the tabs on our computer. Sometimes we have so many tabs open and we think, I'll speak for myself, sometimes I think that I need to keep the tabs open in order to be on top of them, to know what to do. And that's what I was doing with worry. As I was keeping the tabs open, I keep touching the things. I have to remember this, I have to remember that. And when I was traveling, I had a habit in particular of, oh, I need to think about the next stop because if I don't think about the next stop, if I don't keep thinking about the next stop, I won't get off on time. And I'm mm. noticing myself dropping that more, relaxing. I don't actually need that. I actually kind of know. I've been on this journey how many times? And I can feel when the train stops, and I can lift my head, and I can see where I am. And in that moment, if I need to get off, it'll occur to me. Yeah. So that's kind of an experience that I'm having here with my my little pen making shapes moving around walking and swimming now my pen's going to swim across there you go <laughs> <I don't know laughs> what that looks like. yeah that's what i'm <laughs> having 